klein rondje door huis. Laten zien hoe het er nu uitziet. Sinds dat er zendmasten zijn geplaatst in december. Um, folie, de afscherming. En hier kun je ook een beetje beter zien hoe het zit met die zwarte uh, verf. En uh, ja, die zorgt ervoor zeg maar, dat de straling geweerd wordt. Ja, dat is electromagnetic beings we conduct and we are messing with the basic functioning of our cells we are microwaving our population why is it that fertility is so far down in industrialized countries we are microwaving our reproductive organs and wondering why we're having this problem The first symptoms I had was around 1986. It was quite common for me to work uh, 60 or 70 hours per week. Um, we were getting uh, more and more computers, building more advanced devices, and they gave off emissions that were too high. And I started getting uh, skin symptoms. Like somebody picking your face with a needle, you would get a rash on your whole body and on your face. På arbetsplatsen har Per en egen ingång i omedelbar närhet till sitt arbetsrum. Han lider av något som officiellt inte finns: elöverkänslighet. Det innebär ju att han inte kan vara i närheten av elektriska ledningar, apparater, datorer. Telefoner, lysrör, elspisar, elkylskåp, tv-apparater, radioapparater, bilar, tvättmaskiner, gräddvispar. Han kan inte gå till affären eller till dagis eller på bio eller till sjukhus och så vidare. Did you ever consider that your illness could be caused by something else? That's the first hope you have that whatever you're you're suffering from is caused by something that you can cure with a medicine or pill or whatever so uh, that's always the starting point find find the easiest solution but it was so obvious that um, if you were exposed you have these problems and if you were not exposed you didn't have any problems but radiation is also natural right yeah but what we are seeing with the development of radio-based technology is that we use large areas of the spectrum that nature hasn't prepared us for. Of course, we should expect things to happen. The speaker, 390 here. Now, this is the stabozdoener, the mast, with, in ieder geval, 3G, LTE, and it's straalt behoorlijk. And volgens mij zit er ook internet of things inmiddels in. Vanaf 2011 had ik een werkplek met direct in het zicht een aantal masten. Ik heb toen chronische blootstelling aan zendmaststraling gehad. Ik ben er uiteindelijk heel erg ziek van geworden en ook elektrogevoelig. Ik maak me zorgen. Mijn kinderen... Die groeien op in een omgeving waar steeds meer wireless apparatuur wordt gebruikt. Steeds meer straling aanwezig is. Bij vriendjes, op school, het is overal. If you want to get away from the towers, you have to move somewhere where people don't live. And usually it's places like this with snakes and ticks and angry insects that try to eat you. <laughs> There's a large number of VHS people have moved to this small community. It's probably the best place to be in the United States, close to this, these big uh, space telescopes, because mobile phones and wireless gadgets are not allowed. VHS people can live there. <laughs> 